What's up guys, welcome to today's video. Today, I've got something really fun for you guys. I just finished editing the video. I know you're gonna like this cut. Uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel, like this video, and share it with all of your friends. Let's get started, here we go. All right guys, so quick sectioning breakdown for this cut. Real simple, parietal ridge back through mid crown and then wrap it around again. You get that U shape separating top and bottom. And then uh, on the top, I just separate four different triangular sections through the top. Uh, and now we're gonna start working on the side. My goal here on the side, uh, guys, is to create a balanced line. When we talk about um, balanced, open, close, uh, that's where do I wanna push the weight horizontally? So when I'm talking about a balanced line, I want that, uh, that horizontal line to have a balanced feel, to have a straight across feel. So as I bring those sections out, I make sure that I cut my guideline first, and then when I move to section two, I bring section one halfway to section two, and bring section two halfway to section one, meet in the middle, and I cut that line. Then I drop off section one, I bring two halfway to three, and three back to two, um, and then I just continue that pattern all the way through the side of the head, and that will give me a really nice balanced horizontal line. So my scissor choice for this cut is the FSE Precision Pro uh, scissor at five inches. I love a five inch scissor for uh, precision cutting. Anytime I'm cutting a haircut like this and I want those nice crisp lines, a five inch scissor is my go-to because uh, the shorter the blade, the stronger the blade. Um, you also don't need to cut a lot of hair at once when you're cutting a precision cut. Um, that's why they say don't cut past your second knuckle because basically you want to work little bits at a time and not try to stretch out your tension too much uh, or lose tension in a cut because it'll affect the line. So as I'm going through, I'm using the FSE Precision Pro. Uh, we have it in all different lengths. We have five, five and a half, six inch as well. If you love scissor over comb, barbering work. Uh, we just launched this scissor line and I'm super proud about it, uh, psyched about it. Can't wait for all of you guys uh, to try it. Um, we made all of the scissors affordable for every hairdresser out there. So um, this scissor is only 199 bucks and we have deals going on on our website as well. Um, so definitely check that out, freesaloneducation.com or shopfse.com. So as I round the corner in this cut, you'll see that I'm pulling the hair um, all the way from the one side to the other side to continue that straight uh, balanced horizontal line in the back. Then once I get to the center back, then I switch and, and start working the other side. Now, when you start the other side of a haircut, um, sometimes it's hard to figure out the length that you're uh, looking for or to match up both sides. So what I like to do and what you'll see me do here is I start my cut and then I check the sides just to make sure that I they're matching up well. And then once I know that both sides match up, then I continue on through the rest of the section. And we're gonna mimic everything we did on the right hand side, on the left side right now. Now you'll notice sometimes when I cut, I do a little reverse um, grip on the handle of the scissor. We actually de designed this handle custom um, to cater to that type of cutting because that's something that I really like to do. So I wanted to make sure that I had a handle that di didn't just work in the one hand position. It feels really comfortable in every hand position. Notice how I'm scooping the hair and pulling it towards my body. Um, that's just to make sure that I don't lose that corner. Now we're going to go up uh, just to remove that corner that we created. So when you over direct the hair on both sides, um, to the furthest point, you're gonna get the heaviest point in the center back. So I just go in, do a little point cutting just on that edge. I keep the length in the very bottom nape area, but I texturize it and add a little bit of shortness to, uh, to that crown. Now we're just gonna do a pivot section, um, kind of working pie-shaped sections throughout that first triangle um, and cutting a rounded line uh, on the head shape. So really following the head shape, cutting it in a layered form so no weight uh, is being built up in this part of the cut. And uh, that's gonna create a ton of texture and movement in that crown area. So notice I'm still pushing because our guide is traveling. So we wanna travel the guide towards that new section. And we'll do the same thing on the left-hand side. All 
All right, so now we've finished up the crown area. Now we're just gonna move into that fringe. I wanna keep this pretty basic, and, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna over direct it uh, over top of what I just cut um, to really just uh, get a little bit of extra length towards the front. Um, but you're gonna notice in the dry cut, I'm gonna do a ton of techniques to create a really cool fringe with this cut. So I just wanted to pause the video for one second and let you guys know that this video is sponsored by the new FSC Pro and Elite Series Scissors. You heard it right, super excited. We launched this brand uh, just recently and it's now available shipping worldwide. We got the uh, Precision Pro, we've got the Dual 20 Pro, we've also got a full Elite Series as well. You can check it out on the website, freesaloneducation.com. You guys are gonna see all the tricks I've done. So the precision cut that I've done so far, I did with the Precision Pro 5 inch. It's my favorite scissor in that lineup and then uh, in my favorite length. And then also the Dual 20 Pro, I'm about to get into that when we texturize and we really make this haircut come to life. One of my favorite things to do is take a precision cut, cut it fully precision, blow dry it, and then go in and add all these different details uh, using the Dual 20 Pro scissor. So if you're looking to upgrade your scissor collection, then check out these scissors, check out the Elite Series. My goal with this scissor line, guys, was to make it affordable for every hairdresser out there. So I think that you're gonna like the prices of it. You can actually get this two scissor set for $349 insane right so go check it out freesaloneducation.com let's get back to the haircut you guys are going to love what we do here all right so just to prep the hair for the dry cut i go in do a little blow drying and now uh hit it with the air wrap just to get the hair set and ready for this style uh, we're going to use the dual 20 pro this is my favorite new little gadget tool uh, it's a dual texture and blending scissors. So if you flip it one way, it's gonna texturize. You flip it the other way, it's gonna blend. Right now I'm doing a blending technique. You can see the blade is down, the teeth are up. Uh, that gives me that blend effect. And even when I wanna work this fringe, you can see I'm going through there and I'm moving that blade really quick. That allows me to actually cut the hair off, but gives me the most soft line ever. So that's the, that's the biggest difference between using a scissor like this and using the dual texture. So you're going to get 20% removal of the, the hair weight. Um, so if you just keep moving that nice and fast, you will actually get a cut through. Um, but it's a very safe way to go about cutting into a fringe and not cutting too much hair. A little more blending on top, got that blade down. And now um, I want to go in and do some point cutting with it. So you can do point cutting. You can see how easy it goes in, cuts the hair and slides out. And now we're going to do texturizing. So this technique, I like to lift the hair up, go in and just take out little pieces. Again, this is much easier to do with this scissor as opposed to a regular scissor. And now I use my Velcro clip and I go in and soften the nape. Um, this is a great technique for going in uh, if you've got somebody that has a real heavy uh, amount of hair or you just want a softer look in the back, you cut a precision cut and then you go in and just soften it using the blending technique. Now I go back in with the Precision Pro uh, and just detail the outer perimeter line and then I let that down. You can see how, how much softer that looks. More texturizing, just lifting up the hair slowly letting it drop out, texturizing as I go, uh, that creates that airy feel to the haircut. This works great on curly hair, straight hair, um, any hair texture as you go through it. More texturizing, more pinching. Uh, it's just really fun scissor to work with, guys. All right, and so now I'll take the, the Precision Pro. I wanted to add a little bit more precision lines in it. So um, one of my favorite things to do is when you have a really textured haircut is to have some of that precise lines in there. So you can really see the work that went into it. It's not just a shattered haircut. So now I use the air wrap with no attachment on it to just blow dry it, then the air wrap to um, really bring out that texture. You can see how it wraps itself around 
uh, the barrel and gives it that just modern feel. I love the shagginess of this haircut. I hope you guys like it. Let me know in the comments below which scissor is your favorite. Do you love this haircut? Are you subscribed to the channel? Let me know all of these things in the comments below. I appreciate all of you guys. Thank you so much. Make sure you go to shopfse.com or freesaloneducation.com for uh, these tools and more. We also have an elite series of scissors as well that you'll see on future videos. So thank you guys. I'll see you soon.